was about to put a song in because I see people in the audience and I'm like, oh, I've got to do that for you. I've got to do that for you. And I looked at my list and I actually have it next. So there you go. I have been uh, a member of the society since I was 19 years of age. And honestly, um, if you had seen me younger than 19 years of age, you would have thought I was growing up in the society. I just hadn't found this. Yeah. I, uh, I just loved everything medieval. I uh, did my best to dress as Robin Hood every time I could. My first year of university, instead of a winter coat, I made myself a winter cloak and swanned around in the snow. <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> and, yes. and uh, then I, I saw on the news, my, my mother called me down and said, have you ever heard of these people? And it was a, um, a reporter who had gone to Penzik and was following the king and queen of the Midwest. And <laughs> my eyes got very, very large. And so uh, later that summer, I went and I found, I found um, the first what a really well-dressed person at a local Renaissance fair that um, I didn't know. And I said, are you in the SCA? And they said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> very intense. Yes, finally, I found you. And so I started the journey um, into this culture that we all create together. And I, that is where I started to sing. Um, I always loved music, but I never felt I had anything to say, and certainly didn't feel the inspiration that I did in the tidal wave as soon as I joined. And so this is the, one of the very first songs I ever wrote, and uh, I wrote it for the Princess of Eldermere. Uh, we were a principality for a long time before we were a kingdom, and uh, Princess Alina was sitting on the thrones, and she was the princess in my eyes. She was graceful and powerful and just everything I wanted to be. And so I wrote this with my knees knocking <laughs> and I sat and I sang it to her. And uh, I always carry that memory deeply in my heart. The ones who rule over our 